So what is the biggest mistake you see women make while dating? I, I'll say mistakes that I feel maybe I've made. I okay. can't really speak for a lot of people. Um, I feel sometimes um, I go in with these expectations, um, possibly. And I don't want to say that they're too high because everybody should have a standard level of expectations. You know, as you get older, they may change. Um, but it's almost these expectations that I'm placing upon new people because old people have not done what they were supposed to do. Um, but that's not those people's fault. And I'm not saying I'm running around carrying a backpack of trauma, but um, of course, as you move through life, your expectations change because of your previous experiences. And sometimes just from a basic dating standpoint, in the beginning, those expectations may be a little bit too high. They may be a little bit too much for someone else. Um, we paint these pictures of what we want these relationships to look like before they've even started. Um, so that can be a fault. I know that's been a fault of mine. You'll meet people and you'll be like, you know, he's cool. I could see this future with da 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 but how could you? You literally went out for sushi with this man like once. And just because he seems nice, you're planning, you know, your whole duo together through life. Like we're going to build together power couple, <laughs> black love. <laughs> so just in those first to two dates. So I think myself and I'm sure other women is we paint these pictures, um, these colorful portraits when we've only had, you know, just a brush. We haven't even received the paint yet because the time hasn't elapsed. And just the expectations, I guess I would say, is the mistakes that I've made going in to situations. Mm -hmm. um, I think you have to have a basic standard of expectations just as far as you want someone to treat you, how you want someone to treat you, just with common decency and respect. Um, and maybe just where they are in life. And I think that that varies depending on where you are in life. Mm. Um, and also, this is just me personally. Mm. I cannot expect of someone what I am not giving myself. So can I, I cannot expect a man to make six figures if I am currently at Walgreens or whatever. And that's no shade to Walgreens, but they're not making six figures. Mm. So anything I ask of myself, I should be you know I can ask of someone else mm -hmm. and I think a lot of times that's where women make mistakes too is we want people to have certain things that some of us don't possess mm -hmm. so that doesn't make any sense and I, I get you want someone to uplift and help build you and stuff um, but what about the flip side what if he's not he's not willing to build a bear with you you know so I think that that's just some of the mistakes that I've made. And I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of women have made those too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those expectations, they could, they could get you caught up every time, huh? Expectations could definitely get you caught up because you're, you're the only one, honestly, who knows what these expectations are. These are things in your mind and you're hoping that they kind of, telepathically <laughs> go, this other person knows about what your expectations are too you know it could be simple things um it's how you want someone to communicate with you in your mind you know how but you haven't told that person because you're not even to the point of having conversations like that but you're turned off because he doesn't do those things so it's like you set an expectation for this person but they have no idea what you want um and it's too early to even have conversations like that of you know those types of things mm -hmm. yeah yeah i agree I, I did a video called um what's harming your relationship is unsaid expectations mm -hmm. and a lot of times like you said we have everything in our head and we just magically believe this person's supposed to catch it i really be like <laughs> You don't get it. You're not hearing it. Like, come on. And then, and then, and then we have attitude when they don't get it. Exactly. Exactly. How dare you not read my mind? 
I'm supposed to think what I'm supposed to think already. It's like, oh my God. So how do you know when a man is worth your time or when or when he's playing games? I think for me, it's as simple as 